When adding shapes to a diagram, you can actually make those shapes automatically connect. Let's just have a look at this. I'm just going to reduce my magnification so I can see more of my page. For example, if I click the Connector tool up in the Home tab, and then I bring a shape like Process onto my page, as soon as I bring another shape like Process onto the page, it will automatically want to connect them because the Connector tool is turned on. If I then drag Decision and put it below the second Process shape, it will automatically want to connect those two as well. So you can actually automatically connect shapes just by having the Connector tool on and just bringing the shapes onto the page and it will automatically connect to the last shape that you dragged onto your page. And then go back to the Pointer tool. But if you want to do it the way we've done it up till now, you can bring out a shape bring out another shape, create, click the connector tool and simply create a connection between each of the shapes as you wish. One of the things we looked at earlier was creating connection points. When you create a connection using the connector tool, it wants to go from connector point to connector point. Sometimes though we need to create our own connection point, especially if I want two or three lines to go between these two shapes. For example, what I might do is increase my magnification so I can see a bit better. And I might actually delete this connector. So I'll turn my pointer tool on, click this connector and press the delete key. Now what I'd like to do is use this tool called the connection point. I'm going to click this tool. I'm then going to hold the control key and I'm going to create a connection point on this shape about there. I'll create another connection point on this shape about here. And I'm using my grid to help line things up. I might create another connection point about here and another connection point about here. So using the control key you can create as many connection points around a shape as you choose. Now when I turn on my connector tool, I can go from this connection point which I just created to this connection point. And I can go from this connection point that I created to this connection point. So often we want to create our own connection points. And then I just turn my pointer tool back on. Sometimes I don't want a line to be straight, so I can click any line, for example this one here, this connector, and I can go to Design, and I can go to Connectors, and I can change it to say a curved line. Then when I pull it, it's going to have a curved nature. If I decide I want all my straight lines to be curved, I can go on the Design tab to my Page Setup dialog box, and I can go to Layout and Routing, and I can change the appearance of all lines to curved. But I'll leave it on straight. You also have the ability to quickly lay out your shapes. I'm just going to hit the minus here. If I have a number of shapes on my page, and I could even add more shapes if I went to the Home tab, not necessarily shapes from my stencil, but perhaps shapes from this particular tool here, where I can choose a rectangle, I can choose an ellipse, and other shapes listed as well. But what some people like to do is rather than manually lay out their, their shapes, they'll use an option provided by Visio, which is called to relay out the page. For this, I'll go to the Design tab in the ribbon, and I'll go to the Relay Out Page button. And as I rock over these various options, you can see that it's going to relay out my diagram according to any of these options I rest on. If I want to choose more layout options, I'll go into more layout options. I can choose a certain placement style like flowchart or anything that's listed in here, like hierarchy. I can choose the direction left to right, or I can choose top to bottom. I can choose to center and I can increase or decrease the spacing. The connector style will be an organization chart style type of connector, but I could change this also. I can also choose a straight appearance or a curved appearance. If I went apply, I've applied a hierarchical structure to the shapes that I had on my page. And OK. But I prefer to lay out my diagram myself.